Today I am excited to be returning to my beachside hut in a collection of improving exercises. It's a fascinating workbook and game created by artist and game maker Tim Hutchings. This is actually the second installment where I'll be working on some of the exercises. If you're interested in learning more about the game, I will be sure to link the first video in this series in the description below. But right now, I'm anxious to get started. Now for the first exercise today, it is a five minute time limit. And as per the instructions um, stated in the previous video, we always start the exercise or the instruction, I should say, with the horizon line. And today on the beach, washed up on the shore, I found four squared lengths of lumber covered in oil spill. Now I've expressed before that this kind of technical drawing with perspective and horizon lines and vanishing points and whatnot is not my more comfortable style of drawing, but it is that challenge of it that really makes this instruction feel like a game. And getting that satisfaction from being able to accomplish a thing, especially if it's something that I'm not super comfortable with or super familiar with, it's a nice challenge in creativity and skill level as an artist. Now, I haven't made it very far into this game, but I find that every time I return to it, just from reading the descriptions and the instructions, I am automatically transported to a different place in my own imagination. I can hear the crash of the waves on the beach in the distance, the gulls flying above, and feel the tropical breeze in my hair. The next challenge within this first instruction that I came across was imagining what oil spills on planks of wood would look like. But that's the fantastic thing about this. Everyone is going to envision this differently and see a picture in their own mind. And I love that about it. For this particular drawing, I went ahead and included clouds in the sky above and gulls in the distance. Now, I worked quickly to try to get this done in the five minute time limit. Um, I did set a timer. And at the end of the instruction, we go back to the original sketch created of our beachside hut and add our finds to the hut. So I'm just going to lean them here against the wall. Perhaps I'll return to those and make something out of them. I'm not sure if that's strictly allowed, but it certainly doesn't say that it's strictly not. Moving on to my next morning walk along my beach. This one is also a five minute limit. And there is a note that the subject is partially buried in the sand. And it is described as a damaged wooden barrel containing brackish water for five days, if carefully rationed. So that particular instruction, although it's very brief, 
five days of brackish water is carefully rationed. It really puts me in the mindset of what it would be like to survive on a beach. The accompanying uh, page in the book includes an excerpt from Robinson Crusoe. Looking towards the seaside, the tide being low, I saw something lie on the shore bigger than ordinary, and it looked like a cask. When I came to it, I realized I had found the perfect meeting of man's industry and nature's ambition in the barnacled old surface. There was nothing to do but capture its likeness on paper and but quick. And for this instruction, um, this item is to be added to my beachside hut as well. I am having such a wonderful time following these improving exercises and I really find that they present a, a creative challenge, an artistic challenge, a visualization challenge. And I love the creativity that comes from it. And I love putting down the book when I'm done and feeling like I've accomplished something, much like I suppose a gamer feels when they've unlocked the next level. Every time I complete one of these, I feel like I've unlocked the next level and I feel like I've had a beach visit. I feel the sunshine. I feel the warmth and the fun of it all. Thank you so much for joining me in part two of a collection of improving exercises.